astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. Now, what is going on today is a new moon at the very last degrees of Virgo right here. Okay, now this is actually isn't going to happen till the very end of the day. It's going to happen at 11 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, but I do think that we're going to be feeling the buildup coming all day to this kind of new moon. Okay, and what this means is that we're going to have some kind of new beginning because that's what new moons rule in Virgo matters or in sixth house matters since Virgo rules the sixth house. Now that for us is going to be in our job in our routines, in our health, and in practical matters, because that is what Virgo is all about. So I think we're trying to come up with some kind of new beginning in our daily routines, in our physical existence, and the things that we do outwardly in our life. Maybe trying to live our life better, more efficiently, to think about our life in better ways, to also um, make plans about our life and where we want our life to go, and to start to make moves to manifest some things that are very, very important to us, because Virgo is a very practical, house in a lot of ways it's a house of hard work and of getting things done so I think we want to um, we want to make plans to move forward to do what it is that we really feel like is better for us and that it is that we want to do or to come into new chapters as we push forward on some of these things that it is that we want okay so I think that is what the new moon is gonna be about I don't think that it's gonna be easy I know I say that a lot, but I don't think it's going to be because we have this new moon exactly opposite Chiron here. You see we've got the sun at 26 degrees, the moon here at 19, which will catch up to 26 degrees um, by 11 o'clock mountain time, and it's going to be exactly opposite Chiron. So while we're trying to make plans to move forward, to organize our life and to do it in a very, very practical and disciplined way and to change just our outer existence, we're feeling uncomfortable and we are feeling hurt about this plan, about this thing that we are doing or trying to begin in some way. That is because Chiron rules our deepest wounds. So wherever Chiron is, it does not feel comfortable. You feel insecure and you feel hurt. It's also because it's going to be in Pisces and Pisces rules internal, your, your wounds inside you. So we're not feeling quite right internally about what is going on in some way. Pisces also rules the past, perhaps things coming up from the past that we feel uncomfortable about too, that just don't sit quite right with us in some way. And also just emotionally, emotionally uh, being a little bit out of sorts because Pisces is a water sign as we try to manifest some new things in our life and create a plan and move forward on that. Okay, so I think that is what it is. And I think the lesson that we're gonna have to learn today is to still move forward and have how to move forward even when it doesn't feel right, even when it feels uncomfortable, even when we feel hurt and like no one is there or when we feel alone or whatever it is that we're feeling, you know, you still have to figure out how to move forward even though it doesn't feel the best for you, all right? That's gonna be a big lesson that we're gonna have to learn. I wish I could tell you that it's gonna be easier leading up to this new moon, but I, I really don't think that it's gonna be that smooth sailing, okay? Part of the reason why I say that, and I'm gonna back up now, is because we start the day with the moon here on Mercury and Mars, where it was uh, the end of yesterday coming into today. So that is bringing up lots of strong feelings that we either want to act on or that we want to talk about in some way, in a really big way, <laughs> um, so that we can kind of move ourselves in the direction that we want to move in. All right, it can be a good thing. I think there was a lot of action. It was funny when this happened yesterday at work, at my job, everyone started getting very communicative and very talkative and coming out and, and hanging out together, just kind of unusual for us. So I think there's a lot of mental activity going on. Maybe people are a little bit restless in some ways, wanting to do things to figure out what is going on here, okay? It's not always gonna be a good thing with Mars involved. Mars can be very aggressive in a lot of ways too, us really trying to push to make things happen and to really communicate and act on some of our feelings as well. While we're trying to do all of that, I think that there could have been um, some confusion that came up here because we did have Mercury or the moon, which is on Mercury and Mars opposite Neptune too. So trying to um, communicate and about our feelings and to um, move forward on some things, but perhaps maybe feeling confused about what we actually are feeling, not knowing how to organize our feelings and what is going on inside us and to be able to communicate it in a way that really makes sense. I think that is the thing that could have been coming up too, bringing up some confusion about what is going on 
us really needing to take some time to listen to ourselves inside and to check in with ourselves and to get right with ourselves before it is that we began to communicate and talk and act on um, all of these things in a really, really strong way. So I think that was coming up there. Um, right after that happens, we do have this, the moon moving off of that and coming into uh, trying with Pluto and this is actually going to be at 3 a.m. mountain time So I don't know how you're going to sleep tonight Y'all have to let me know how you sleep with a moon trying Pluto uh, Going on here during nighttime hours, but that could bring up some very very strong feelings Maybe a deep intense sleep maybe some nightmares too But it can bring up some very strong feelings about your life and about what it is that you want in some way That's because Pluto rules your deepest desires. It rules your fears It rules the things that kind of haunt you from deep down to below maybe coming back up to the surface for you to deal with also rules your just deep desires about what you want from life and the moon here touching it is bringing up some really big feelings about your life and your daily routines and about a plan you're trying to make as well as your career and your life direction because Pluto is in your Capricorn and Capricorn rules your 10th house of career so we're trying to make a plan to put our lives in a better position to have the reputation that we want to move up in the world in some way and while we're trying to make these plans to do this thing here, feeling confused about what we need to do, feeling a little hurt about it as well, uh, and trying to work some of these issues out so that we can begin to move in the right place, okay? So I think that is a big thing that that is happening. After we're feeling these big feelings, wanting to move forward, wanting to make a plan, the moon runs into a square with Saturn here, which is actually gonna happen around noon mountain time, um, coming in, really asking us to channel some of these big feelings that we have, uh, and some all of the stuff that's going on and to be really really dedicated to working towards a way to make all of these things manifest and happen all right because Saturn is in Sagittarius which rules uh, journeys adventures doing something new I think it may require us to do something new do something we haven't done before to really move in the direction that we want um, to move up in the world, to have the life that we want in some way. And I think that could be a little frustrating for us, of course, because the moon is gonna be in a square with Saturn. We don't wanna try something new. We don't wanna make changes here. We wanna be efficient. We wanna move forward. We wanna get our life done and, and move in the right direction, but realizing that things are a little more complicated than that, that maybe what we've been doing isn't working here, that we've gotta come up with a new plan to get what we want, try new or different things, readjust the plan in a way that feels uh, a little bit better so that we can really begin to have the life that it is that we want, okay? So I think that is the main stuff that I see happening that we're gonna have to deal with here as we're pushing forward, making a plan, not feeling too good or changing a plan to one that we think is better for us, not feeling quite good uh, about it in some way, but having to move forward anyways and to really make sure that we're okay in the process, to nurture ourselves, to listen to our heart and our intuitions and our inspiration as we move in that direction, okay? While all of that is going on, we also have Venus still, which I mentioned yesterday, coming off of this trine here to Uranus. It's not exact, Venus is now at 29 and Uranus is at 27, but you could still be feeling some unexpected things in relationships or in money, especially in regards to what makes you happy coming up as well, throwing you a little bit off course or motivating you to make some changes to your plans uh, as you move forward that could be a little bit uncomfortable. I thought this was kind of interesting because as we're coming off of this unexpected aspect, we did have the hurricane now as a category five, and we had the stuff coming out about Trump wiretapping on a Venus Uranus trine at the eclipse point happening. And what I also thought was interesting is that all the news didn't start to come out either until the moon came over this crazy Mercury Mars spot and began to try and Pluto. Um, and that, that it kind of waited until then uh, when it was quiet during the day because the moon wasn't making any aspects at the beginning of the day yesterday. Uh, most of it happened at the end of the day and that's when all the news kind of happened when it got really intense with Mars and Pluto involved, okay? So I think that is what is happening there going on. I think another interesting thing to point out is that emotionally, you know what is coming. Emotionally, you may be confused or having to figure some things out, but 
physically in the real world or it hasn't quite hit you yet okay so i think we're trying to do these things and and make them happen and i think you know what's coming i think this is a situation where your emotions are ahead of your life i think that's what i'm trying to say now i say that because the moon has been through all of these aspects here with the oppositions right here and the trine and the square and mercury and mars and venus have not been through this spot yet so you feel something coming maybe you know something is coming deep inside you but it has not happened yet and you're still having to work out some of the details make some changes you need to make make the plans and commit to things and try new things even if you don't want to try them so that you can start to you know go in a direction that's better and work out some of the kinks from the past okay all right, so I think that's what's going on there too. Unexpected things also coming up here with, with Jupiter about to oppose Uranus that you may have to deal with as well. I know I, I said that some of the unexpected things are gonna be over here with Venus moving past this trine, but Jupiter is about to move in an opposition with Uranus as well, meaning you wanna make commitments, you wanna work with people, you wanna have relationships since Jupiter is in uh, the seventh house here, Libra partners and commitments, but really having to balance your desire for freedom, your need to do things differently as well, that could be catching some people off guard too, that you're learning to um, balance as things move forward, okay? So I think that is all I have to say now before this video gets too long. Your card for the day is Temperance Upright. This to me is a card of inspiration, of emotion, of balance, in a lot of ways, it's funny how much water is in this card. She's like standing by a lake, pouring water between cups. I think this is a message. You gotta listen to your emotions while you're making plans, while you're trying to make things happen. What is it that you feel? What is it that you intuit or that you think, or not, not even think is not the right word, but what is it that is coming up intuitively for you? You need to pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to your heart, make sure you're nurturing yourself in this process so that when you move forward and when you make these plans or reformulate some plans, to make them better that they really resonate with you and and who you are and are built on something bigger than yourself that can really last okay so that is what i see going on here i know mercury is not retrograde anymore i know it's moving forward i know it's coming out of um you know it's shadow period but it's hitting some hard things here with pluto and saturn asking us to change the way that we're doing things to do things different and to do things better but to still keep moving forward and putting a plan in place so we're just trying to work out a lot of things uh, that could be a little hard and we are almost well, I don't even know if I want to say we're almost there. It's going to take us another month or two uh, to come out of this, but we're getting there. I'm going to just keep pushing and to not lose hope. Uh, everything's going to be okay, especially once we figure some of this stuff out, okay? So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.